Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on ordering decimals. So here we've got a question that says a range in order from smallest to largest, 1.6, 1.9, 1.2, 1.5, and 1.3. So if we look at the numbers, all of them have got a one in the units column. So that means that we're gonna have to move across to the next column to see which ones are smallest and the largest and so on. So whenever we go into the tenths column, we've got six in the tenths column here, then a nine in this one, a two here, a five in the temps column here and a three in the temps column there. Now the number with the smallest number in the temps column is this number here, 1.2. So that means that 1.2 is the smallest. Now if we have a look at the what's left or what's remaining, we've got 1.6, so we've got six in the temp, temps column, nine in the temps column, a five and a three. So the three is the next smallest, so 1.3. And we've got a six, a nine and a five, so the next one is the five. Uh, the next one is going to be 1.6. And finally, the largest number is the number with the 9 in the tenths column, which is 1.9. And that's it. Okay, now that question was quite nice because all the numbers had one number after the decimal point and one digit after the decimal point. So let's have a look at uh, a set of numbers where some have one digit after the decimal point and some have two numbers after or two digits after the decimal point. So the question says a range in order from smallest to largest, 7.6, 7.15, 7.23, 7.2, and 7.08. Now, whenever I'm doing a question like this, what I'd like to do is I like to make all the numbers have the same number of digits after the decimal point. So as we know, notice here, we've got 7.6 and 7.2, and they're a bit shorter than the other numbers. In other words, they've got only one digit after the decimal point. So if we put zeros after the numbers, so in other words, 7.60, which is the same as 7.6, and 7.20, which again is the same as 7.2, we can compare them a lot more easily, okay? So let's have a look at the units column. So in the units column, we've got seven, 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 and seven. So we can't see which one's smallest or largest by looking at just the units. So let's have a look at the tenths. In the tenths column, we've got a six, a one, a two, a two, and a zero. Well, clearly the number with the zero in the tenths column is gonna be the smallest, so 7.08, okay? Next, let's have a look at the tenths column again. Six, one, two and two well the one is then going to be the next smallest number so 7.15 next we've got let's look at the tenths column again we've got a six a two and a two we've got two numbers with two in the tenths column so we can't necessarily see which one's the smallest out of these two numbers by just looking at the tenths column so let's look at the hundredths column which is the next one okay because you've got units and then decimal point, then you've got tenths, and then you've got hundredths. So let's have a look at the hundredths, the second number after the decimal point. Well, this number's got a three in the hundredths column, and this number's got a zero in the hundredths column. So this one's gonna be the next smallest, the 7.20 or 7.2. I'm gonna just take the zero off it, so I'm writing down exactly what I was given in the question, but the zero just helped me to compare it, okay? And the next then would be the seven, 0.23 because it has a two in the tenths column and the biggest will be the 7.6 and that's it so in order from smallest to largest well it's 7.08 7.15 7.2 7.23 7 7 and 7.6 let's have a look at one last example and this time the question says, arrange in order from largest to smallest. So just make sure that we're doing the largest to smallest this time. And again, we've got one, two, three, four, five numbers. And um, some of the numbers have got more digits after the decimal places, or uh, decimal points than others. Uh, this one's got two after the decimal point. This one's got one after the decimal point. This one's got three, one, and two. So we're gonna make them all the same length. So I'm gonna put zeros one uh, to make them all have three digits after the decimal point. I'm gonna put an extra zero there an extra two zeros there, an extra two zeros there, and an extra one there. And that means that all of the numbers have the same number of digits after the decimal place. Now, let's arrange them in order from smallest, or from largest to biggest. So let's have a look at the largest uh, units. So we've got units, we've got eight, one, eight, eight, and one. So one of the ones beginning with eight is obviously gonna be the largest. We're gonna have to look in the tenths column. So we've got two, two, and four. So 8.4 is the largest. So 
8.4 because it's got the largest number in the temps column. Okay, next we're either going to have 8.23 or 8.226. So units, they've both got an 8. The temps, they've both got a 2 in the temps column. Let's look at the hundredths. This number's got a 3 in the hundredths column and this one's only got a 2. So that means that 8.23 is next. Uh, then that means that 8.226 is after that because again, it's got the 8 and the 2, but it's only got a 2 in the hundredths column. Okay, now let's have a look at the next ones. We've got 1.9 and 1.790. So uh, we've got both got 1s in the units, but if we look at the temps, this one's got a 9 in the temps column, whereas this one's only got a 7. So the next largest is 1.9, and the smallest would be 1.79. Okay, and that's it. So that's those numbers arranged in order from largest to smallest. Okay.